<laughs> then, um, then I could tell he was saying a whole bunch of like evil things. Like he was saying evil things. You know how in movies animals are saying in animal language like bark bark, and in human, and when you're watching that show, it says, "Well, I love cupcakes" or something like that. It was like he was saying mean stuff. But as he was dressed up as a girl, he was acting like he was like saying good stuff about church. But then God told me in my spirit that it was bad. And then there was these two other girls say, come on, and let's walk away. And they walked away. And they, I don't know, went outside. I couldn't tell if it was a little dark out, but it looked kind of rainy or snowy. And, and then I was just walking, and I think... Mommy and Mike went outside, and a whole bunch of people went outside. <coughs> and I think it was sunny after once they went outside, but it was still wet. And um, they point up without saying a word, just looking up, because I can. I'm not outside, but like I'm having a little flashback, seeing in my head that they're outside, and then. I said, come on, Kinsley, my stepsister. We come running out the door, and then we see everyone flying up in, like, these orange clouds opening, and Jesus is coming through them in a white robe. And then he takes me, my stepsister, a couple other people, Mommy, my stepdad, my brother, and he's taking all of us up, and then, poof, Oh, wow. Do you remember what it felt like, or do you just remember kind of seeing everything? It felt like, like, I felt, I think, a couple of things. Um, and I forgot to say, I told Mommy and Mike to get away from him because he was saying bad things, and then the girl said, come on, we went outside. Then they went to go outside to look outside because they saw lots of people there. Then, um... I see the flashback, and I saw them. He came out, and then, like, ugh, it's hard to explain. Well, you already told that part, honey. Yeah. Do you, all I was saying was, do you, did you get to experience what it felt like? Mm -hmm. or you did? When it was like, like, I can felt everything. Everything felt re real. And, like, the air, like, when it was rainy, it actually smelled like, 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 mowed grass or something. And then I could feel us flying up, like gentle, calm air going through us, like this. Us coming in. And I feel the, as we're going through the clouds, I feel like the clouds going all fluffy. And then God's just putting his hand out like this. He's sitting way in the sky with like this uh, gold uh, spear thingy or something in his hand. And then the other thing, he's just holding his hand out like this, and, and everyone starts flying up through the sky like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, and I could feel his, like, fingertips, <clears throat> like I was touching someone else like this. Oh, I can wow. feel it. His hands were, like, a little cold, a little warm. It was, like, medium. It felt nice. I read a Bible story in the bathroom. Good, Bobby. <laughs> it was about the rapture. Oh, yeah? What's in here? Okay. Hold on, Bubby, because Sissy is still sharing stuff, okay? So, one more thing. Do you have anything to share for anyone that may be left behind and what you saw? Um, I remember seeing this one thing that was really bad. Um, after I went up, I looked through the clouds and I saw... Like this cabin, this green cabin, cabin with a red roof. This little boy is on his red bike. He throws it aside, but it still landed near, like vented this way. And he's running this way. He trips and falls on a rock, and like this little ugly thing, zombie, de devil, devil, is taking him and hurting him. He's screaming and crying. So I would. Just, if I got left behind, like I've been told, I would pray and die for Jesus, and then I would go up, I think. I would pray and repent, and I would keep praying and praying. And it was sad, 
and I saw lots of crying, torture. A couple of girls and men were on their knees praying, saying, Lord, Lord, please, please let us up. It was sad, but then I wasn't like sad, but I was looking at them like, it's okay. I wasn't sad though, because I was in heaven, and I was just, yeah, and they turned around and back up the stairs. Okay, honey. So you said pray, repent, and die for Jesus? Yeah. Okay, honey, I think that's very good advice. And the Lord has definitely showed you a lot of interesting things. Um, but is there any last thing you want to share before we get off mm. with anyone? Well, I think I have one thing left. Okay. One night, um... I couldn't go to bed at all. And I was at here at home in my bedroom. And so I had my window open to cool down my room. And I grabbed my microphone and I just start talking about Lord. And I keep talking. I keep saying everything. Who was Jesus? He died for us. I talked about what repenting means, what prayer means. And I, what I do at church, and I told them, uh, please start repenting. Please Did you start tell praying. us to? Um, so I was like out my window, not sticking my head, but I was just next to it, mm -hmm. talking with my microphone out loud all the way up, talking about this <laughs> for hours and hours. And then I sang a couple songs about Jesus. I don't remember them, but he just made i think he didn't really want me to go to bed yet he probably just wanted me to say that and keep singing and singing and singing but before that i kept singing a whole bunch of jesus song then i went to bed Let me i fell asleep for two seconds two seconds later i come to the window and start talking again i go back to bed sleep for another probably five or ten seconds come back and i start talking and singing again I'm gonna do that a couple times for a couple minutes. Then, after I was done telling everything I had to tell about every story I wanted to learn, every story I learned and told, I finally got tired a little. My eyes started sleep getting sleepy. I almost fell asleep on the ground, but then I picked myself up and went to bed. And then I think I had a dream, but I don't remember what it was. That's awesome, honey. So you feel like in your spirit, the Lord brought you to the window in case there was anyone outside to share about Jesus? And there Jesus? was one person outside, but he probably didn't hear me. It was like this orange redhead guy with black glasses holding a green like thing. And he was just walking in these shorts, walking by like this. And I'm just saying it louder and louder so he could hear. <laughs> but he just turned his head the other way towards the road, not towards me. And then he went... Anyway. Well, you never know, honey. There could have been someone around a corner that heard. Maybe he heard. And maybe, uh, you know, the Lord plants seeds in his mind that will later come up and sprout up. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Thank you for sharing, baby girl. You're welcome. Um, I, I made a kitty cat. Oh, oh can you, you made a kitty cat? Can you? Book? We'll take a look. No. But Lucius, Lucius. Sorry. Guys, I'll take a look, but... Can you guys say bye right now? Bye. Bye. She ruined it now.